I'm Paul Wheaton. A few years ago, some people asked me to video a sold out workshop on rocket mass heaters. I offered that video as DVDs through Kickstarter and interest was a hell of a lot bigger than I thought it would be. For those of you that are new to rocket mass heaters, this might be the cheapest, cleanest, and most sustainable way to heat a conventional home. That particular workshop built one pebble style rocket mass heater using a shippable core prototype. And since we built the actual rocket mass heater so fast, we were able to squeeze in some stuff about rocket hot water, rocket stoves, and pocket rockets. Fire science is a three hour presentation at every rocket mass heater workshop. The people watching the video wanted more. Some people wanted to learn how to build their own shippable core. Some people wanted to learn how to build the Cobb style rocket mass heater. And everybody wanted better video and sound quality. Now that we know that interest is much higher, we've upgraded the fancy cameras and sound gear. And rather than limit our footage to one small event, we've gathered footage from three workshops, one innovators event, and several other projects covering a total of 10 rocket mass heaters. Our intent is to make four more DVDs. The first covers the most basic and popular rocket mass heater construction, featuring two separate designs using cob. One in a log structure and one in a teepee. The focus will be on the most difficult part of the build, the manifold. The second DVD will show the construction of three pebble-style rocket mass heaters. This will include information on building with a conventional floor. The third DVD will show building several different styles of shippable cores. The last DVD will cover our Innovators event. This includes a batch box style rocket mass heater burning cleaner than anything we have ever seen. A rocket mass heater that doubles as a cooker and smoker, the ring of fire showing glass in the burn tunnel, and an indoor rocket griddle, oven, and water heater. And now for the big Kickstarter question. Do enough people want this to justify the production costs? 